So I'm going to teach you guys how to do a bend of a row. Me personally, I, I, I do value doing bend of a rows in a pronated and supinated position. I believe you get the biggest metaphorical bang for your buck doing them at more of a neutral position with a trap bar easier on the spine you still get to hit the erectors a little bit and you're hitting the upper middle lower parts of your back pretty evenly you know what i mean so what we'll do here start big and tall right i'm gonna hip hinge and bend my knee slightly right and then i'm gonna keep my core tight when i'm getting ready to pull right part of the reason why i don't necessarily gravitate to the pronated and supinated versions of or variants of this lift is because you become a little bit more binded why because you got a barbell in front of you usually right so whenever we're doing like a pronated you kind of stop here because the barbell hits you here supinated same thing i feel like if you are going to do pronated or supinated use dumbbells However, the, you know, if you want to actually get a little bit heavier, really get straight to the money, just go neutral here, right? It's not going to bind you up as much. You're able to really get a full range of motion on your back, and I'll show you what that looks like. So big chest, bend the knees, hips back, squeeze your core, pull. That's how you do a bed of a row.